Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Ionic Tips Weekly, uh, the weekly show where we take a look at one small tip each week to try and become better Ionic developers. Uh, this week we're going to look at a really quick tip, uh, just something that I discovered uh, recently uh, that I wasn't even aware existed, uh, but apparently it was introduced in Angular 6.1. What we're going to do is uh, iterate over an object with ng4. Uh, by default, ng4 only uh, supported, or I still guess it still does only support, uh, iterating over uh, iterables, so things like arrays. So if I were to do something like this, for example, uh, I'll say div ng ng4 equals let item of movie. So I have a um, an object set up here. Uh, so it's just a, an object with uh, three properties in there, a title, description, and a rating. And what I want to do in this example is I want to loop over all of its properties. So if I say let item of movie, and I just try to uh, uh, interpolate item here. So if I save that and we check out the uh, result in the browser here, you can see I get an error and it says, uh, cannot find a differ supporting uh, object of type object. NG4 only supports binding to iterables such as arrays. And so there's probably not too many uh, scenarios where you want to uh, loop over an object with an NG4, but uh, that situation may arise and, and it did for me uh, recently. So uh, there is fortunately a very simple way to do this. And that is through using the key value pipe that was added in Angular. Uh, six is some version of angular six. So all we need to do is add key value to that. And if we save that now and jump back into uh, the browser, uh, you can see that the error disappears now and we just get this, you know, these objects being uh, rendered out to the screen. Uh, so we can access both the key and value of uh, that item now. So let's just I'll surround that in an h2 tag. And we'll access uh, item dot key. And then below that, we'll access uh, item.value. And again, we will save that and take a look. And you can see now that I have each of the properties uh, in that uh, object being rendered out, each with their values below that. Uh, so we have a description property with a value of description, a rating property with a value of four, and a title property with a value of some title. And as you can see in here, those are the exact uh, values that are in the object. Okay, so that's it for this week. Just a super simple and quick tip uh, this time. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, you can also find my Twitter and blog and stuff like that in the description. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week.